In this video, we're going to look at how to use the text alignment tools. That's left aligned, center aligned, right aligned, and justified. But before I had show you that, I want to explain why we use those tools. Very often when people are new to word processing, they'll have some text on the screen. And they'll think, ah, now there's my title all about foxes. Wouldn't that look better if it was in the center of the page? So they do the very normal thing of clicking in front of All About Foxes and using the space bar to move that text across to the middle of the screen. Yeah, that looks about right. Brilliant, I've done a good job. And they print that document out and it's perfect. Nobody would know any different. But it's the wrong tool to use. And it's the wrong tool to use because of this. If you try to format that text, Think, oh, wait a minute, wouldn't that text look better, a bit bigger? So I'll select the text, make the text a little bit bigger, up size 36. And all of a sudden, all you've done is change the font size, but the text is no longer center aligned. So then you need to center align it again, and it's not working, and all kinds of things can go wrong. And it's simply because you've used spaces rather than the correct tool, which is center aligned. Let me just show you, if I put the show hide on, what we've got. You can see what I've got there is a row of spaces. It's not blank, it's a row of spaces with my text underneath. If I undo the font size, it's back to the center, but I've still got that row of spaces. So when I do my formatting, the spaces themselves are also formatted to that bigger size. And it just throws everything out. So here are my golden rules of working with text in a document. Rule number one. When you are typing your text, always put only one space between each word. one space between each word. If I zoom that in with the show hide on, you can see there's one dot, one space between each word. That's golden rule number one. Golden rule number two, at the end of a sentence, you can use two spaces as there are there, or you can just use one. It's up to you. The rule used to be two, but not any longer. It's up to you. The rule, though, is be consistent. So if you always use one space after a punctuation mark, then always use one space. If you always use two, then always use two. I think two is better. Gives you a little bit more space there. So there's the first golden rule, one space between words. The second rule, golden rule, two spaces or one space after punctuation, but be consistent. The next golden rule, put the show hide on. Can you see at the end of each paragraph, I'll just zoom out a little bit, at the end of each paragraph, I've pressed the enter key once to start a new paragraph and then press the enter key again to give me a space. Golden rule number three then, don't. Always only press the enter key once. Now that means you've got no space, I've pressed the enter key once, but I've got no space between my paragraphs. I'm going to show you in the upcoming videos how to align your text and how to put space between paragraphs without doing things more than once. Three golden rules. Space bar once between words. Twice or once between sentences would be consistent. Third golden rule. The end of a paragraph, press the enter key once, not twice. Keep it consistent. Use the tools in the coming videos to work out how to align your text properly. Okay. Let's have a look at the alignment text alignment tools then. This is about aligning text left to right. And as you can see, normally when you type, you get a nice straight line down the left-hand side of your page. That's called the margin area. And you can't actually type inside the margin. It's the edge of the page. And the word processor 
nicely lines things up down that left hand side. That's called left aligned. If I just select this text, all about foxes, you can see on my toolbar, I've got the left aligned button, it looks pressed, it's orange. That's because we've got left alignment applied to that text. That's standard, but we can change it simply by clicking one of the other buttons. Here is my center align tool. If I click that button, the orange goes off left aligned, the text is no longer left aligned, it is center aligned to the document. And look, no spaces. So that's center aligned. I can also right aligned. Now the right aligned icon is usually there, but if you can't see it, don't worry. Remember you can use the drop down at the edge. Just move that across so you can see it. Your toolbar options, and there's right aligned. And that puts it back in space for you. So I've now clicked right aligned, and the text is right aligned. Left aligned, centered, right aligned. Couldn't be easier. The final one is to justify, and what that does, I'm going to leave my title center aligned. What justify does, it gives you a nice straight line down the left margin and the right margin, just as it shows you in the picture. The pictures really show you what you're going to get. So let me select a couple of paragraphs of text here and switch on justify. And you can see what happens is the computer puts little bits of extra spaces between the words, not the space bar spaces, but it puts in hidden space between the words to justify the text so that you've got a nice straight margin down the right hand side and down the left hand side. You see how that looks a lot better than the text underneath because that's got a jagged edge. I've just merged those uh, paragraphs to make that look a little bit more obvious. So I've only got two paragraphs now. The top paragraph is justified. And we've got a nice straight line down there. The second paragraph is left aligned. We've got a nice left margin, but a jagged right margin. That is full justification. So, nice and simple. Select the text you want to work with. Decide whether you want it left aligned, center aligned, right aligned, or for full paragraphs for text, justified. Just finally, in the previous video, we talked about um, manual line breaks. And I explained that it was because um, some formatting features apply to the whole paragraph. And that's true of these alignments. These alignments work on the whole paragraph. You can't left align one word. It doesn't make sense. You can only do it to the paragraph. You can't left align that word, right align that word, and center that word. It doesn't make sense. It applies to the whole paragraph. Any kind of formatting that applies to the whole paragraph means that you don't need to select the paragraph to apply that feature. You can see here I've selected the whole paragraph to do left aligned, and it applies it to the whole paragraph. The paragraph underneath, I'm not going to select. As long as you've got the flashing cursor insertion point somewhere on that paragraph, doesn't matter where, just click somewhere on that paragraph. Use one of the tools, let's make it right aligned. And it applies that right aligned to the whole paragraph of text. So we've looked at the alignment icons. We've talked about selecting the text first, or at least having the paragraph selected. It doesn't need to be fully selected. Put the cursor insertion point on it. Because it's a paragraph feature. The formatting applies to the whole paragraph. Just finally, you can use these shortcuts, but you can also use the menu, and that would be Format, drop down to Paragraph, and it's this top, on the indents and shading, spacing, it's this top general alignment, and you can choose the alignment from there. And in coming videos, we'll look at everything else that you can do on this box.